It's here. Let's go check it out. And there it is. All right, YouTube, this is Tom at TM Aquatics. Thanks everybody for stopping by. This package back here on the table. I've been waiting for this for a while, been waiting for it to deliver all day. This here is gonna help transform my fish room here and take it to the next level. Let's go ahead, let's open that box, check out what's inside of it, and I'll tell you why I dropped the money for this and how it's gonna benefit this fish room. All right, YouTube, we're gonna open up this box. We're gonna check it out. Super excited about this. Been wanting to uh, pick this up for some time. And it's really gonna help the fish room here. And it's really gonna allow us to uh, take this fish room to the next level and uh, continue expanding. And um, yeah, so I'm just really excited about what's in here. So what is in here? Well, I'm sure y'all have seen one of these before. This is a uh, connection hose. And inside this box is another box. And inside this box, well, I don't need to open it because I know y'all have seen these before, but this is a Jemco Linear Piston Air Compressor. This is the LPH80. So this is a pretty decent sized linear piston pump. Definitely more pump than what my current needs are here in the fish room. I definitely could have gone with an LPH60 based on my current use of uh, air back here. But the LPH80 I decided to go up one size. I did pick up a uh, silencer here which I'll be threading into a half inch. and. Um, I will be running a one inch PVC around the entire perimeter of the fish room here, but this just allows me more flexibility and let me show you what it's going to replace. So back here in the fish room, this is where it all started. This was my first rack back here and if you've been watching my channel, you know that when I built this rack, I really had no plans uh, for expansion at this time. Now I have six tanks on this stand and each tank has two sponge filters and the air pump that I decided to go with for this rack is one of these commercial pumps right here. The downside to these is that they're very loud. In fact, they reach about 70 to 75 decibels. Not sure if you can hear that constant hum. They don't draw a lot of power, only about 35 watts each. They're fairly cheap, about $30 to $40 a piece. Unfortunately, they're also not very reliable. I've already had to replace two of them. But it's been doing a fine job for the 12 sponge filters on this rack. The one air stone over in this tank. And then when I have my brine shrimp hatchery, it gives me just enough air for the brine shrimp hatchery. But you see, we weren't done expanding back here in the fish room. We kept growing and building more stands and adding more tanks. So shortly after I had that first rack up, I built this pleco rack. And there's three tanks on the pleco rack. There's the 33 long up above, the 55 in the middle, and then a 40 long down below. Now again, two sponge filters in each tank and at the time I didn't have the extra air stones that I have down here in the 40. I do run one in the 55 as well. I just don't have enough air for it. And then up here with the zebra plecos I have another air stone. Now originally I was running some Tetra Whisper pumps. In fact I still have two of them up there. A couple of Tetra 100s. And that's what I used for the six sponge filters and the uh, couple of air stones that I had was just a bunch of Tetra 100s. And that worked for a while. Tetra 100 pumps, they're pretty quiet. They only draw four to five watts of power and uh, not too expensive, about $20, $25 a piece. But you see, again, we weren't done expanding back here in the fish room. Shortly after the Pleco rack was built, 
I built this fry rack right here. This was a, intended to be a grow out rack. Currently it is serving as a grow out with this 20 long up above. Down below that's transformed into a shrimp cold tank. And then down below that's my quarantine tank. And those Tetra Whisper air pumps just didn't have enough power to run all the additional sponge filters. So again, I went back to eBay and picked up another one of these commercial uh, Vivo Sun air pumps. And again, very loud. Each one is about 70 to 75 decibels on average. So yeah, we just kept expanding and now we're up to two of these and I had a few of these Tetra 100s laying around. But again, we weren't done expanding back here in the fish room. I then built this grow out rack with these five 20 gallon tanks on there. And what am I using? Well, I had a couple leftover Tetra 100 pumps and I had a Tetra 40 laying around. And I believe one of them's a Tetra 60. But anyways, I have three air pumps up here. Each one of these tanks has one sponge filter inside. And um, it's been doing a pretty good job. But I do notice a couple of those whisper pumps are losing a little bit of their power. So now we're up to two of these commercial pumps. One, two, three, four, five Tetra pumps, and we're not done. So recently I added these two 75 gallon tanks back here in the fish room. Each one has two sponge filters and an air stone. And once again, I went back to eBay and picked up another one of these commercial air pumps back here. Again, not terribly expensive, about $25, but also not the most reliable. And uh, it's been doing a fine job. It's providing enough air for these two 75 gallon tanks. In fact, I could probably get a couple more air stones out of it if I really wanted to. But you see, these things are pretty loud and now we're up to eight pumps back here in the fish room. Well, I guess as it stands right now, everything's working, but I'm adding more tanks. My most recent addition back here in the fish room is this new 40 gallon breeder. And this is down below my work table over here. And this was a necessity back here in the fish room and I plan to use three sponge filters in here. And I might try a couple of those box filters, kind of going back to old school. But here's the issue. I don't have enough air for these here. So I need to buy another air pump. That would put me up to nine air pumps back here in the fish room. And we're still not done. Out here in the rec room is my planted 75 gallon Endler's jungle tank. And I talked about this in a recent video on how I am gonna tear this tank down and set it back up for my L494 Plecos that I just picked up from Eric Bodrock. And with that being said, I'm gonna be clearing out all of the plants, all of the Endlers, everything has to go. Because I am gonna remove the canister filters that I'm running on this tank, I have two of them. I have a Sun Sun over here, and then I have a Phil Star Large over here. And I wanna get away from canister filters because, well, they're my least favorite filtration type for an aquarium. They take way too long for maintenance, it's too messy, and they're prone to leaking. And if I can't pull out the filter media, wash it out in a bucket or in a sink and have it back in the tank within two minutes, well, it just takes too much time. And again, the uh, O-rings on the lids, you know, sometimes are prone to leaking and they're just, eh, they're just kind of a pain in the rear, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna try something different with this tank. I'm gonna have a couple of uh, Hydro 5 filters in this tank, but I also picked up a couple of these moving bed filters from Aquarium Coop. Now, the thing I like about these is the fact that the media inside is constantly in motion, keeping itself clean. And anybody that's kept an exotic pleco tank knows that plecos are very messy fish. They create a lot of waste. And I think that these might work wonderful paired with sponge filters. So we're gonna go ahead and try two of these and two Hydro 5s in this tank. But again, that leaves me a dilemma. I would need to buy yet another air pump. So now, in addition to the 40 breeder back in the fish room and this tank here, I would have to have 10 separate air pumps. So in addition to the existing eight air pumps that I already have back here in the fish room, 
and the two new air pumps that I would have to go out and purchase, one more for this 40 breeder, one more for the 75 gallon out in the rec room that we just looked at, I decided rather than buying two more small air pumps, I would take that $50, apply that towards a new Jumpco LPH80, and make the switch from multiple small pumps to one large pump. So that's what I decided to do. I figured it's time to invest into one large central air pump for the entire fish room. Now had I known when I started this fish room a little over a year ago that I was going to continue to grow and grow and grow and get up to the five or six different racks of fish tanks that I currently have, I probably would have done this from day one, but I didn't know at the time. And really, having multiple smaller air pumps is really not such a bad thing. It gives you quite a bit of redundancy in case one of those small air pumps fails. You probably still have enough air to get you through until you can pick up a replacement. Now with that being said, having your fish room dependent on one large central air pump, yeah, there is a little bit more risk involved if something goes wrong, but I have a plan for that. And I'll show you that once we hook up this air system in a couple of weeks. So now that we have the Jemco LPH80 linear air piston pump back here in the fish room, I just want to point out a couple of the obvious benefits and advantages that this pump is going to provide me back here in the fish room. Now keep in mind, this is a pretty big air pump. This thing is capable of handling up to 60 to 80 airlines. And currently back here in the fish room, well, as it stands right now, I have less than 50, but we're always expanding and I have more plans now that I have this pump back here in the fish room. So on each one of my Pleco tanks, I also have some type of hang on back filter. Some tanks only have one hang on back filter, like here on my L134 tank but my Zebra Pleco tank actually has three. Let's take a look. Overkill, perhaps, but the hang on back filters are on my Pleco tanks for two main reasons. First, redundancy. In case anything happens to the air pumps, the hang on back filters are still gonna harbor some beneficial bacteria to help keep my fish nice and safe. The second reason, well, Plecos like current. They like water movement and I'm not gonna put anything with an impeller inside the tank. So these hang on back filters offer not just the filtration, but they also add a lot of water flow. But I know these Jemco pumps are so reliable that I don't have to worry as much now that this is gonna be the main source of air in my fish room compared to those up there. So here's what I might start doing. So with that new Jemco LPH80 providing more air than what my current needs are, I can start thinking about perhaps removing some of the hang on back filters back here. I have a total of 11 hang on back filters on my Pleco tanks back here. And I, while I do like having the redundancy and I do like having the additional current, these things get pretty clogged and I have to really service them almost every other day. You can see that water's barely trickling out. So I might start removing the hang on back filters and start using more of something like this here. But we're gonna test this out on the Planet or the 75 gallon L494 tank first, but just having that Jemco air pump and all the air that's gonna provide me back in the fish room, it just gives me the flexibility to experiment and try different things. It's also gonna allow me to run a lot more air stones back here for my Plecos. Now I do want to point out one of the biggest benefits to having this Jemco pump back here and replacing all of these smaller commercial type pumps that I have back here, and again I have three of them, is the noise level. You see each one of these commercial air pumps that I have back here, they run at about 70 to 75 decibels each and I have three of them. Now the little Tetra pumps, I really don't even notice them, but those other three combined, yeah it can get kind of noisy back here. And what I'm told from Jemco is this LPH80. This thing runs at about 40 to 45 decibels, so it's gonna be a lot more quiet back here in the fish room, which is great for me and great for the fish. But I'm really excited to start this project. We'll get it done the week of the 20th. I'll definitely film a follow-up video, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss out on that. And with that being said, we're gonna end this video right here and now, so if you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them down below. Again, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button, but tell me why. Anyways, appreciate everybody stopping by, and until the next one, we'll catch you all later.